In the darkest night, ah, darkest night, ah, I search through the crowd, search through the crowd, your face is all that I see, I give you everything, baby love me lights out, baby love me lights out, you can turn my lights out, all right. <laughs> that was the song for today. That was a song that was channeled this morning. XO by Beyonce. It's actually one of my favorite songs by her. Um, and I don't even listen to it that often. So I know when it pops into my mind, into my um, my brain, then I know it's for a reason right there. So, all right. Somebody's saying you can let me lights out. Saying let's do this before the time runs out. But that also goes in line with the other song that... Uh, my channel this morning. These songs have just been coming. I've just been um, strolling right on along here. But Diana Ross, missing you. Um, <laughs> many of you might know the song, might be more familiar with Beyonce's um, song than you are with Diana Ross, depending on how old you are or what your age is, what, how you were looking at this video. But anyway, I love music, okay? All different genres from all different decades. So. That's why they just pop up and I just pair them all together. But I feel as if this message goes together because Donna Ross's song, I'm Missing You, it speaks about, of course, a relationship that is failed, uh, that has failed and people aren't together, people aren't interacting, whatever the case may be. But there's still that connection that's still there. I mean, isn't there always still a connection right there? So, you know, someone is definitely missing someone. And then for the other song, um, you know, just let's get this going or let's do something before the time runs out. So maybe someone, you know, especially if this is a love relationship reading, which it does sound as if it is, and which a lot of them have been, kind of coming up as lately but again you apply these energies wherever they go in your life they can apply to anything in any relationship it does not necessarily have to be something that's romantic but <clears throat> for those two songs to kind of come in together another song actually came in together too but I think I'm going to say that for the second video but um wanted to do something or get something started or get something established or reestablished before time runs out right there because obviously there are still feelings that are involved and there are people who are missing other people now the other song i'm missing you mm -mm -mm. damn that's a case right there so somebody is definitely out here missing somebody honey and what i feel as all right, let's just go ahead and get started into this reading. Y'all already know the deal. Um, please like, share, and subscribe to this video if you will be so inclined. Um, like the video, uh, share the video, whatever. Uh, if there are some things in this message that I say that you do not agree with, that you don't like, that you don't care about, or that do not resonate with you in any type of way, you already know. Leave that message on the floor. Leave the message on the door. Somebody else will come along. They will pick it up. I promise you. I guarantee you. Also, what I want to say with Missing You, um, that song, it can speak about missing someone who's no longer physically here as well, too. So if there has been a death or if there has been some kind of loss or something with someone's family or friends or a loved one or close one, then it can also represent that as well, too. Um, you know, and even, <clears throat> even, even just some of the lines, you know, from XO, you know, just before time runs out or before the lights are out, because when we are no longer here in the physical form or the physical flesh, then we may, you know, for those of us who are left behind, there may be some regrets that we, um, are experiencing because of the things that we didn't say or the actions that we didn't take towards someone. And now that they're not here anymore in the physical form, um, because an energy is energy, it never dies. It 
does not, uh, it's not destroyed. We all know how that is. But the flesh, this meat soup right here, this, this expires. This has an expiration date. The only thing about that is we just never know when that date is going to be. So it's always best to, especially if it's an emotional love or something, if there are grudges that are being harbored between people or between energies, then I will say, <clears throat> you know, do things before time runs out. You just never know when that time may be. Or if this is for, as I said, um, any relationship or anything, you know, where people are still physically here, then still, if there are some things that you need to express or some things that you feel need to happen between um, you all for some interaction, then by all means, put differences to the side and do that. Because if you don't, so, and this kind of goes along with the reading from last night or uh, yesterday, but waiting until the last minute or waiting waiting until um well i don't know because you know everything works in divine timing and like i said in last night's reading we never want to rush anyone or rush anyone's process however for this it feels a bit different because I, but I feel as if there have been signs, synchronicities, there have been clues, there have been things that have been appearing in someone's energy a lot. And they could just be ignoring the signs or just trying to downplay them or hoping, wishing, praying that they'll go away. But for whatever reason, they won't. And they just keep on amping up. So, <clears throat> Maybe that's a clue <laughs> for you, Scooby-Doo, uh, right there. I love Scooby-Doo. It's my favorite cartoon. Um, and that was the name of the first episode ever of Scooby-Doo. Get a clue, Scooby-Doo. So get a clue, Scooby-Doo, if that's you. <laughs> but it could be the person who is on your mind right now. Uh, collect it. So um, let's go ahead and get started. You know, Queen of Pentacles, she already jumped out, jumps out in the reverse. So, someone, as I said, they're missing some home situation. The Queen of Pentacles knows how to make people feel at home. She or he or she um, knows how to um, help people find their value, help people find their worth. Um, she's, she's a counselor. You know, she can be a counselor or he can be a therapist in some ways, or they just have some kind of quality about them that just makes people feel very comfortable in their presence. This is a type of person who feels the need to take care of people sometimes, but for the energy that I'm picking up right here, and I feel as if it's probably you because this is where this is going now. So for my collective, um, who's all listening to this video um, right here or this message, I feel as if this is you. More than likely, this is you. However, coming out in this reverse right here, you've kind of done all that you can do for someone or for someone's situation. And it's really no, it's, it's, it's like the ball is in their court now. That's what's happening. The ball is in their court. You held the ball for so long. <laughs> you know, you carried the ball, you carried the torch, you carried whatever it was until there was, you, you, there was just nothing else that you could do. And when I say nothing else that you could do, um, if there is still someone in your energy or a group of people, or even if it's one person who you feel needs a bit of extra help or needs some kind of assistance or needs a bit of therapy, they need a bit of mothering, um, <laughs> or just someone to kind of hug them or just tell them everything's gonna be all right, I feel that this person, they're going to have to come to you for that because you've gone the distance with this. So even if this is a situation that is not completely over, as far as your part and your actions right now, you can't do anything like your hands are tied, if that makes sense. So all you can do is kind of just wait if that's what you choose to do. Or you can just um, kind of speculate or you can watch and observe. But 
you can't you can't like I said, we can't force anyone to do anything that they are not prepared to do or that they just flat out refuse to do or that they don't want to do right there. All right, seven of us swords coming out. All right, so yeah, this is strategy. Usually with the seven of swords, it can be a bit sneaky, okay? It can be a bit sneaky, um, but we're not totally done with this reading, so who knows how this energy would go. But for right now, whose ever hands are tied, like I said, they kind of look back <laughs> at someone or look back at a situation, but that's really all they can do. And now, for the most part, they just have to kind of strategize a way to remove themselves um, or do that. Now, this could also be talking about the other energy who's looking at this queen of pentacles right there. Like I said, whoever this queen of pentacles energy is, their hands are tied. They can't help um, the way that they used to. Even though they might desire it, they can't do anything right now until some they, someone approaches them or they, they're, someone asks for their help. This uh, Seven of Swords energy right here, perhaps one of the reasons why, you know, and I said that, um, you know, people, people might feel a pull, but for whatever reason, they're unable to do something. This could be the person. They could be in a situation or they could be in some position where it's, yeah, relationship. So a relationship, like I said, here we go. We want to help people. We want to talk to people. We want to, um, you know, just collaborate with people in some way. But this is soulmate energy right here. So like I said, whether it's work, job, family, friends, it doesn't matter. And that's what I was going to say. This situation, someone has a situation right here already that might be very hard for them to sneak away from. Look, okay, I love the position of these cards. So, you have the Seven of Swords right here trying to sneak away from whatever they are involved in right here. It could be another relationship. It could be another business venture. Their finances could be tied up with someone and they're trying to figure out how to get out of that. So, that's what's going on. This might be the reason why this person or whoever this energy is or whoever these people are, this is why it is taking a long time possibly because they're trying to remove themselves from some other partnership over here, some other union that's right here. Regret at the bottom of the deck. Possibly, you know, this is like a loss right here. It's experiencing some kind of loss. So... <clears throat> The loss could very well have been whatever the connection it was with you or between these two people over here who I read for in the beginning. But then they could also be losing out on some things, as I said, when they leave this partnership, whatever it is. Yes, the star in reverse. <laughs> um, whether it's finances whether it's status, whether it's a reputation, whether it's a marriage, whether it's a business, um, whatever it is, there is some kind of a loss that someone might incur while leaving this. And this might be another reason why it's so um, difficult to remove themselves or what they're trying to figure out. Because this is all about strategizing something. Seven of Swords right here. The moon comes out in the reverse. Things being revealed, things being uncovered, um, possibly some things being uncovered within this connection right here. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Oh, def. Okay. Okay. So, um, <laughs> Queen of uh, Wands. She comes out in the reverse. Not picking up a good energy from her right now. This tonight. Ten of Pentacles. The things that are being uncovered have to do with whoever or whatever this Queen of Wands energy is. Um, it's family. It's family drama too. Fam okay. Family drama, friend drama, co-worker, relationship, work drama. 
whatever, however it fits to you, this is all coming to the surface. Some things are coming to the surface. And I feel as if there's been one central person right here, Miss Queen of Wands in the reverse. I feel like she or he has been the catalyst in some of this mess that's been going on within this family. Ooh. Okay, let me tell y'all something about the Queen of Wands. Um, This is the type of energy who, they know they're sexy, okay? They might be hot shit, but they use their looks, they use their appearance, their, they use their sex appeal. And nothing wrong with sex appeal, okay? But it's all in the way in which you use it. This is someone who's been using their sex appeal and using their looks um, to get over on people, to take advantage of people. Um, this can be very promiscuous energy as well too because the wands represent fire, they represent passion. But whoever this person is, I feel as if they've been, I might as well say it, somebody's been screwing around in somebody's uh, circle. Somebody's been screwing around in somebody's circle. Whether this is a family circle. Shit, that was a comic. Um, I think it still runs in the uh, newspaper, family circle. But anyway, somebody was going around and around. But um, either a family or either some kind of friend unit or work unit. Like I said, it's some things that are coming to the surface about um, this person and what they've been doing within this um, this group or within this family right here. Uh, shit, I wasn't expecting it to go this way. I mean, listen, definitely people are still missing each other. We still start off with that thing, but um, missing each other, X's and O's and all that stuff. Shit, speaking of X, um, that's what's trying. That's what's going down right here. Maybe this person. Because right here, okay, didn't I tell y'all sneakiness? Now, this could be describing whoever this Queen of Wands is being very sneaky as well, too. Because look at it again. Yes, it is that person who I read who might be trying to strategize a way to sneak away from whatever connection that this is. But now that things are coming to the surface, I feel as if things will be a bit easier to do that. Also, what I wanted to say, this whoever this um, energy is who's been kind of screwing around or messing around with people within their relationship circles, they're the ones being very sneaky as well, too, within their partnership. You get what I'm saying? So they've been, sneak, they've been sneaking and creeping. Somebody has been sneaking and creeping. Mm, mm, mm. That's a damn shame. Um, yeah, I really wasn't expecting it to go this way, but um, <laughs> let's 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 get some more energy on what's going on right here. Yes, it's a in somebody's home, four of wands. This is home life. This is happy home life right here. This is um, a marriage, a celebration, weddings, receptions, baby showers. This could be anything where there are a group of people who are celebrating and coming together right here. So, that was real messy spirit. What they just told me and what I just received right there, it won't be for everybody, but because I did say some kind of family or marriage, um, <clears throat> and I was thinking of like a wedding and I'm thinking of like, <laughs> Like best man, um, maid of honor, you know, those people who participate in weddings with um, with certain high positions for the bride and groom right there, you know, serving as their maid of honor or serving as their best man. I did say that somebody was messing around with somebody in the family, right? Or a friend or something. So whoever this person was, they were, they've been screwing around within somebody's close circle. As I said, it could have been, it could have been a sibling. Look, I just give the message. That's not going to be for everybody. All right. So don't get your, um, your underwear in a bunch. You take what resonates and leave what does not. Just listen for this messy ass read right here Because that's what's going on um, 
somebody was either messing with someone's sibling or some a close friend of theirs. And if these two people or whoever these people were married, were married or something, or in some type of close relationship, then whoever was the friend of one of them, the other person, the other spouse, or, you know, was kind of doing some things behind their back. They're being sneaky. Like I said, they start, okay. And here's the thing. I feel as if this has been going on for a while. They've been doing this. Someone has been doing this sneaky ass shit in this relationship right here. You know, they got the other person over here thinking that, yes, we are together. We are happy. We are good. We are in this home together. We have um, a stable home life, stable family. Um, might have children. We might have the dog. We might have the cat. We might have everything. And the whole time, this was going on. Somebody was sneaking out. This is, like I said, this is sneak. Look at the way this man is walking. He's he's taking the swords as many as he's as he can hold. And he is sneaking away. And he's looking back to make sure that no one is watching his ass. Or her ass. But somebody been looking at somebody's ass over here a few times. More than um a few times. Hermit card. This may have already come out already. Because the hermit card is solitude. So I might be picking up on past, present, future energy. I don't know. I'm just going with it. But... Whoever is in this hermit energy right here, I feel as if they're going on their own little spiritual journey. They're trying to find, um, trying to find, you know, the light again, you know, in some way. Because even just looking at this hermit now, the man looks sad. He looks hurt. You know, he has his uh, lamp right there, which has this bright light. And it's like a star that's in there. So, and I did, I did, you did see that star card that came out in the reverse right there. So, that's what's going on and we're picking up from that energy now. This person, whoever this is, I feel as if they've been, they found out about someone being very sneaky, doing some things behind their back. Now they're in search of what is true. Now they're in search of the person who is true to them and this star, because the star was in the reverse. And the star is one of the, I mean, all these cars are good, okay? Don't get me wrong, because they all tell some kind of story in some way. Or they align with each other in some way. But the energy of the star is one that is just shining very brightly. One, I mean, think of it like you look up in the sky, you see the brightest star just radiating right there. <clears throat> I feel as if... Whoever this star was, the person, because it represents healing as well, too. Um, very healing, therapeutic energy right there. Restoration. You know, restoring connections, res helping to restore other people. This hermit, whoever this hermit is, whoever this person is who's found out about this messy ass situation that's been going on behind their back, they're now in search of that star. They're looking for hope. They're looking for something to restore their faith. And this very well could be you. And maybe, and this is where we come in with the songs. Um, let's do this before time runs out. Or missing you, you know, right there. So, let's see. Let's see. This is a mess. I really wasn't expecting it to go here. But, shit, I'm over here thinking we're about to get something soft and sweet and everything. Oh, child, we get a whole primetime drama that's going on right here. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, this person has left this situation or they're about to because they no longer, this was an unwise investment. They no longer want to invest in this. Um, they're planning on doing something else or they're planning on going somewhere else right here. Whatever they were previously um, evaluating, now they are re-evaluating. They're re and this is the energy of the hermit. Um, like I said, just going on a spiritual journey, going on a journey of self-awareness. Whoever this person is, they are now questioning themselves and they are questioning the whole reason of why they were in this 
why they were in this relationship right here. They could be going through a bit, like I said, a bit of like sadness and just uh, not guilt. Well, maybe a little bit of guilt. Um, and that depends because that word came up in my mind for a reason. So maybe the guilt, maybe how they treated you before. I don't know. Or maybe... <clears throat> Okay, well, that's interesting too. Like I said, if this person was kind of being sneaky on their own and maybe they began another relationship or something behind your back and maybe this is why you all don't have a connection, again, whatever relationship this is, it can be business as well too since we do have these pentacles that come out. Um, and we begin with the pentacles. Could be related to work or money or something like that. But... They could have been, yeah, they could have been um, kind of doing that same thing as well, too. So maybe that's why the word guilt came into my mind. But more so than that, as I was going to say, just very disappointed, very jaded, very sad. Um, they, they, are, they are healing. Okay, so that's what's going on, too. Like I said, if you've been feeling some energy or feeling some kind of pull or connection that's still kind of going on, um, this person, as I said, they're in introspection. Four of, um, four of swords. So this is healing, again, after the dis disappointment or heartbreak. This is the Four of Swords, obviously, coming after the Three of Swords. And if you're familiar with my channel, um, the Three of Swords is the Heartbreak Hotel. The Three of Swords is the energy of breakups, anger, disappointments, um, emotional upheaval. Just the shit has hit the fan. Now, after all of that has gone down, now is a time to kind of lay low and be in our own energy. So yeah, someone is in deep, heavy introspection right here. And so again, that could be another reason why you've not heard from someone or why um, you feel this pull, but you don't understand what is going on. <clears throat> yeah, with this, that's crazy. With this Hermit card and then the Four of Swords, definitely, definitely a time of just going within. And I think this person, whoever they are, are not only are they not communicating with you all, but they're not communicating with anybody. They're not communicating with this messy ass spouse <laughs> or significant other. They're not communicating with these fa with family, with friends, with um. I feel as if they 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 if this person is working or they're at a job or something, they go to work, they keep their head low, they do what they have to do, and then they're gone. They're not um, chopping it up with coworkers or anything you know, of that nature. They're not um, hanging out, they're not going out, they're not having any fun or doing anything. They're, 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 someone is kind of lonely as well too. Someone is a bit lonely um, right there. But let's see. Ooh, Eight of Swords. Yes. Okay. Eight of Swords, self imprisonment. Three of Cups in the reverse. Um, like I said, they're not social. They're not socializing. They're not having fun. Look at the way these uh, women are. They're having fun. They're jovial. They're drinking. This person is not doing that. This person is not doing that. They're, they feel. They feel duped. This person feels duped. They feel bamboozled. They feel that they've been taken advantage of. Um, so therefore, they're kind of locking themselves away right here. <clears throat> they're locking themselves away right here. Um, the fact that this Three of Cups does come out, though, backs up what I said earlier right here. Someone had a third party situation and third party situation is any interference that comes in between a relationship whether it is another person or whether it is another business opportunity or whatever children can be a third party sometimes a family can be third parties work as i said just something that's getting in between of people 
But for this specifically, I feel as if the person who was getting in between these people was the person who was getting on top or uh, under uh, this Queen of Wands right here. Look, we are grown on this channel, right? I mean, if you're not grown, then that's not my business. Um, <laughs> and if you come up on this video, but this is Tarot After Dark right here lately. So what comes up comes up and what comes out is going to come out. And this is now coming out right here or this has come out. And it is the emperor, honey. Big Daddy. Right here. The emperor. This is like y'all know what I call the emperor. Big Daddy. Right there. This is the man or this is the woman because this is energy. This is the person who's in charge. This is the person who is on top of their game. They have their uh, money together. They have their work, their work together. They have their relationship together. They are in total control right there. But... They have their, their, they have their home in order, right here. When the emperor is like this, they have their home in order. Like I said, they could be a parent, it could be a father, or it could be a woman who resonates more with the masculine energy. But everything is flowing. They have their relationship together. All of that is all good, but that is not the case right now. With the emperor coming out in the reverse, he feels powerless. He feels as if all the power that he had before is now gone. Very doubtful, very fearful, distrusting as well too. So I feel as if this person, whoever they are, they're not really trusting a lot of energies. They're not really trusting a lot of things that um, is around them right now are people, which explains why they are just keeping to themselves right here with this hermit and four of swords. So... They could, this very well could be them um, maybe missing, like I said, missing the connection that they had before because they chose to invest in something that went totally um, off the rails over here. So, all right, let's see. I mean, for instance, you could have one person who's in the missing you, you know, from the Diana Ross version or uh, scenario, and they're missing someone, but then you have the other person who is in the Beyonce XO energy, like, well, just do something or say something before time runs out, or before I get into another relationship, or before I uh, start another job, or whatever the case may be, but let's see, religious factors. So, whoever this person was, I feel as if they were in this relationship first and foremost because of whatever um, um, traditional beliefs that might have been at play here. Like I said, it was something, you know, with this household. So um, maybe this is a more conventional relationship for them or maybe one that was that looked better aesthetically or so. Make the effort. Make the effort. <laughs> Great love is worth taking the steps. You're guided to. I can't make this shit up. Let me show you all these cards. All right. Religious factors, as I said, and as I explained already. But here we go. Make the effort. As I said, whoever this person is that I described in the beginning, they've made all the effort that they really can do at this point and their hands are tied. They don't know what to do. So all they can do is just move on with their life and send out love and hope for the best, you know, for everybody. Heal the world right there. But make it a better place. Um, but make the effort. So, you know, at some point, whoever this person is, um, this emperor right here, this energy, you know, yeah, it hurts, but you can't hide forever. You have to show your face. You have to come out. You have to do something. But again, you do that on your own time. Nobody is going to, nobody has the right to rush anyone to do that. However, <laughs> wallowing in self-pity and regret that's not going to make this situation any better as well either. This could very well be saying that maybe someone needs to seek someone, a friend, a close family member, or someone who may understand, or maybe even um, a counselor or a therapist right there, especially if they are having a very difficult time um, with what's going on. So make the effort. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, like I said, um, 
for everybody else out there, look, just send your person or your people, uh, just love, send it out, you know, love from afar, you know, that's about as far, that's about as far as you can probably do right there, but definitely some, like I said, there's some, there's still some type of energetic connection that's going on with this attraction, you know, right here, it's like the magnets, it's like magnets right here. So this is possibly why these songs are coming in, certain ones, um, if they're resonating with you, or if you've just been feeling that pull of that energy as well, too. Now you know. But anyway, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Hit that thumbs up button for me if you're so inclined. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, my information is down below. I will talk to you later, and I'll see you in the second video if you follow me over. All right, bye.